And Matthew, I, I know you're in St. Petersburg tonight, uh, where Putin also weighed in on Donald Trump's legal problems. And it was actually pretty interesting what he had to say. He had plenty to say. Uh, he, he did indeed. I mean, separately to that North Korean uh, issue, uh, President Putin uh, has been voicing his support again for former President uh, Donald Trump. It's something that you remember became a feature of the 2016 uh, election campaign and the subsequent Trump presidency. Well, now Putin's at it again, this time saying uh, that the charges against Donald Trump are politically motivated, but also basking in the divisions uh, that those cases have caused in the U.S. Take a listen. As far as the prosecution of Trump is concerned, this is good for us in today's conditions because it shows the rottenness of the American system, which cannot pretend to teach others about democracy. All that is happening with Trump is the persecution of a political rival for political reasons. And this is done in front of the public of the United States and the whole world. The rottenness of the American system. Uh, President Putin does tend uh, to try and distract from the problems of, of Russia by pointing to the uh, issues uh, underway in other countries, particularly the United States. In terms of though the prospects of policy changing, uh, if there's a Trump victory, uh, Putin said he doesn't see any change in policy, no matter who wins the U.S. presidency. Aaron. All right, Matthew Chance, thank you very much in Russia live tonight. And let's go beyond the numbers with Harry Enton. So, Harry, you know, you, you, you heard Matthew talking about Putin's press conference. Yeah. And, you know, Putin um, seized on, on multiple opportunities today to, to talk about the U.S. political system, um, stir the pot on Donald Trump. Mm. Uh, so where are where is the American public right now when it comes to Russia and the war in Ukraine? Yeah, I mean, look, there is no one on either side of the political aisle, very few people on either side of the political aisle that are, that are fans of the president of Russia, Vladimir Putin. But one thing that really has developed over the last uh, year and a half is views when it comes to the Ukrainian leader, President Zelensky. And what we see there is a massive polarized partisan split. You know, these are the unfavorable views of President Zelensky. And we see that Democrats and Republicans back in 2022, very few of either one of them had unfavorable views of Zelensky. But look at Republicans now. 41% of them have unfavorable views of Z Zelensky versus just 11% of Democrats. So it does seem that this partisan wedge has certainly found its way into the Russian conflict. It is absolutely conflict. incredible when you think about it, you know, how perception, how politics can change something um, that people had such a pa passionate belief in, and, and that can change.